Sonic Sense features a distributed architecture that consists of one or more nodes, that is, server machines, that together form a site. One node assumes the role of the central node, which is used as the central point of control. A single node site is the smallest site possible, as it consists only of a single node, that is, a single server machine, which is also the central node of the site. It also contains data for the entire site in the central repository database. You can take a look at this video to have a step-by-step -step guide for a single node installation. In a multi-node site, the site is spread out across two or more nodes that share the same set of data and the same license key. Multi-node sites can be used for many purposes. To add capacity, to add resilience, to move apps or workload onto a specific node, and to fit with customer network deployments. You can select to deploy the repository and app storage in two different ways, as synchronized persistence or as shared persistence. In a synchronized persistence multi-node site, each node has a local copy of the data that it needs to fulfill its role, which means that the node can operate independently in the event of a server or network failure. Each node can read and write its local data, and a synchronization mechanism in ClickSense distributes the changes to other nodes in the site. One node is configured to be the central node, which is responsible for controlling the multi-node site. The central node is also the point through which the other nodes in the site synchronize their data. Please take a look at this video to configure a multi-node installation using the synchronized persistence mode. Another option is to deploy a multi-node site with shared persistence. This means that nodes share a single repository database and a network folder for the application files. The benefits of using shared persistence instead of a synchronized multi-node deployment include the possibility to use a high availability database cluster as the repository database. It allows for higher volumes of changes such as reloads. Improved stability during high volumes of content creation improved resiliency, and the removal of sync delay. You can deploy a multi-node site with shared persistence with the repository deployed on the central node. You can watch this video to learn how to set up this type of multi-node site. Or you can deploy a multi-node site with the repository deployed on a dedicated server. Click on this video to learn how to deploy this configuration. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.